Dr. Osborne here with a research update for you from Gluten Free Society. You know, one of the biggest problems our society is facing today is the incidence and the rise in something called autoimmune disease. Now, prior 1950, we didn't really know a whole lot about autoimmune disease because it didn't really exist to any great degree. So there wasn't enough data, there wasn't enough patients to really research autoimmunity as a whole. But one of the things that science is finding is we're seeing an alarming rate in the increased incidence of autoimmune disease. Now I'm going to show you a study here, this published in the journal, International Journal of Celiac Disease, the world incidence and prevalence of autoimmune disease is increasing. And what these researchers did is they did a meta-analysis of all the data that's been being collected on autoimmune disease. They took 30 studies over the last 30 years to try to find kind of what types of increases in autoimmune disease was occurring. And what they found was quite alarming is that in Western civilized countries like the United States, Great Britain, Australia, Canada, the incidence and the frequency of autoimmune disease is dramatically increasing. Now, I'm going to show you another diagram from research that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. If you check this out, it shows a dramatic increase in overall autoimmune diseases. Particularly, if you look on the diagram here, we've got asthma on the rise, type 1 diabetes, Crohn's disease, multiple sclerosis. Now, I showed you a study a moment ago, and that particular study showed that rheumatoid arthritis was on the rise and lupus and celiac disease all on the rise. Now, if you've got an autoimmune disease and you don't know why, it's very, very important that you understand that gluten plays a role in many, many, many forms of autoimmune disease. There's a lot of research now being published on gluten-free diets showing relief and amelioration of the symptoms associated with a number of different autoimmune conditions. I'm going to show you what some of those are here now. So if you look at this slide, you can see kidney diseases. And again, all of these that I've got listed here on this slide, there's research backing all of this up. I'll put a link to an article below this video. If you're a research nerd and you want to dive in and you want to read a little bit more, you can. I'll put that link below the video. But you can see here kidney disease, membrane, proliferative glomerulonephritis, IgA nephropathy. These are types of kidney autoimmune conditions. Liver disease, autoimmune hepatitis, fatty liver, this is an autoimmune condition that gluten-free diet has been shown to ameliorate. Nerve and brain or neurological diseases like peripheral neuropathy, Guillain-Barre syndrome, myasthenia gravis, myopathy, schizophrenia, cerebellar ataxia, vertigo, Meniere's disease, depression, attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder, autistic disorders, all been shown in medical research to be improved by gluten-free diets. Moving down the list, heart disease. There's a form of heart disease called myocarditis, which is autoimmune in nature. Gluten-free diets shown to improve that, as well as another condition called dilated cardiomyopathy. We've also got skin diseases like vitiligo, psoriasis, eczema, dermatitis herpetiformis. These conditions very, very well linked to gluten sensitivity. Another one, if you have hives, if you're breaking out in hives and you don't know why and you're taking medications to suppress that, that's another one on the list of skin diseases associated with gluten. Dermatomyositis is another one. Um, hormonal diseases, so if you've been diagnosed with Addison's or Hashimoto's or Graves or type 1 diabetes, these have all got linkage to gluten sensitivity. Different blood disorders, hemolytic anemia, aplastic anemias, leukopenia, thrombocytosis, uh, red cell aplasia, something called thrombocytopenic purpura or TPP. If you've got an IgA deficiency or an IgM deficiency, look, these all show up in the blood. These are blood disorders that have association with gluten sensitivity. We also have gastrointestinal diseases acid reflux, GERD, eosinophilic esophagitis, what many doctors call EE, also gastritis. Um, a lot of times people go get their scope done, their upper GI, and it won't show anything other than some gastritis. The doctor says, we don't know why you have gastritis, but they prescribe an antacid medication. Remember, that might be a gluten sensitivity. IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel diseases like ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, and celiac disease, of course. And then eye disease, uveitis, which is an inflammation in the eye. 
And then we have rheumatological disease, so autoimmune diseases that affect the joints and the soft tissue, things like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, reactive arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, psoriatic arthritis, poly polymyositis, polymyalgia rheumatica, undifferentiated connective tissue disease, restless leg syndrome, fibromyalgia, all connected to gluten sensitivity. So bottom line, if you have a diagnosis of an autoimmune condition and your doctor hasn't checked you for gluten sensitivity and you're curious, you maybe are wondering, you're on the fence, is a gluten-free diet right? Is a gluten-free diet going to help my autoimmune condition? I'm going to put up one more uh, study here on the screen for you. You can see here published in the International Journal of Celiac Disease, are non-celiac autoimmune diseases responsive to a gluten-free diet? The answer is an overwhelming yes. Remember this research paper identified 30 unique studies over a period of a number of years that identified gluten-free diets as being very, very helpful for all the autoimmune conditions that I just listed. Now, if you think you might be gluten sensitive, I'm going to put a link below this video where you can take a simple free quiz online. It'll, if you answer enough questions uh, right, or I should say wrong, then it might give you a good indicator whether or not a gluten-free diet is going to be the next best move for you. Or if you're past the point of wanting to do a quiz and you just want to know are you gluten sensitive, I'm going to put a link next to that quiz where you can actually get genetic testing done that can help you identify whether or not going on a gluten-free diet is the right move for you. So bottom line, if you have autoimmune disease and you haven't explored gluten as a potential cause or contributing factor in that condition, it's time to take that action step today. Change your diet, change your life. This is Dr. Osborne wishing you excellent health.